Okay, so this is the Commodore 64, that bread bin uh, that I got. Um, and uh, so I, I got it to work uh, and I didn't film any of it because, well, there's a couple of reasons. First, I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing, so it was good to get some practice. And then once I figured out what, it, what the problem was, I sort of thought, you know what, I might get more of these and... Uh, and I wanted this to become sort of an experimental or test board, so I socketed pretty much, well not pretty much, I socketed every single ICs and uh, I had some just heat sinks, so these are the uh, the RAMs, uh, actually I should I could show you, these are the uh, VIA or CIA or VIA, can't remember, uh, this one handles the keyboard, this one handles the, uh, the uh, data parts to just do uh, input output communications uh, here you have the uh, basic rom kernel rom and the uh, uh, object rom this could be the other way around but i'm, I'm pretty sure uh, here you have your processor here you have your pla um so your rams here your color ram is here you have your um, sid uh, music chip and here you have the vic um vic 2 uh, which is the video uh, chip and uh, in most cases when you have a black screen which was the case in uh, in here uh, the PLA was bad so uh, I replaced the PLA and uh, it fired up straight away so what I did afterwards is I just uh, changed the output the voltage regulator because it was just getting really really hot I, I had the spare one actually that doesn't need to be here because it doesn't stick very well and it serves no purpose but um uh, I put the, this uh, this uh, other new voltage regulator that actually doesn't get as hot. Uh, I did a recap, uh, got new caps, and I changed the light because the, the light, the other LED was broken and I actually got a, a blue LED which looks really cool. Uh, the uh, cap locks uh, was not soldered, so I, I re-soldered it. Soldered? Soldered? Can't remember. And, uh, and there was a couple of uh, just dirty uh, keys so I had to remove the keyboard and just uh, clean them but other than that um, other than this it was fine I actually replaced a few of the all of the RAMs with new ones and uh, and the color RAM as well because I had them I tested the others and they were still fine but I just put newer uh, RAMs anyway um, I'm just gonna close this up uh, for now like this and let's fire this up First, I like that red button. Oh, no, I love it. And uh, ta -da, there you go. Uh, we got a working Commodore 64. So uh, all in all, I mean, these are pretty simple if you compare that to arcade boards. Did not not nearly as much uh, as much stuff. Uh, I'll see if I can have maybe uh, the Terminator 2 card. Yeah. Come on, there you go. Uh, press M for me, yeah, so it has yeah, uh, an image uh, maker, music maker, blah, blah, blah. So we're, we're just one Terminator. Uh, and this has actually cool music, so we know that the uh, SID is working. How cool is that? Anyway, it um, actually looks really good with the uh, the little uh, blue LED. Really happy uh, I, I changed the color. But there you go, folks. Uh, working Commodore 64. Uh, found in flea market for probably 20 quid. Um, let's lower the sound a bit. Uh, you probably noticed I changed my monitor because the other one was just giving me too much hassle. It's actually over there. I need to fix that. But anyway, there you go. Uh, Commodore 64 for 20, 20 euros uh, fixed and working.